It's my daughter's, but I'll get in trouble, but go ahead. All right, I appreciate <laughs> it. Back down in. Mm -hmm. Trust, is, it, is it two dollars for each? Okay. Yeah. Is it two dollars for each? Yep. Yeah, two dollars okay. for each, yeah. You want this one? Where are these from? Uh, I think they're from Thailand. This one doesn't have it, but this one. I got them as a set. Um, what about the Toms? Which one? The Toms. Oh, two bucks. How much? Two. Two. Here you go. I got three. Oh, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Needed one. <laughs> Have a great day. Is your yard sale? Hi. Um, I got a question. Would you take uh, 45 for both? It's my daughter's, but I'll get in trouble, but go ahead. All right, I appreciate <laughs> it. I'll take the responsibility. <laughs> you know, she drops every, her stuff over here, you know? All right, I'll keep looking. You want me to put these on the side? Yes, okay. I appreciate it. And they work as far the the PlayStation and the Wii, they work as far as you know, right? Oh yeah, as far as I know. Okay. They work. I appreciate it. Thank you. Morning. What's your, how much you want for the Garmin? Um, I think it was marked five dollars. Is it? Yeah, it was yesterday. Okay, okay. I'm blind. <laughs> oh, I could just oh, carry so that. Garmin too. Yeah. Nobody grabs it. Everybody's been looking at it. <laughs> Does it, it can't use it all right. I didn't fit that. All right. So, um, yeah, I thought, okay. Because one of them, I think one of them is open. That's okay. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? This is your corner here. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. I paid for all that. Okay. And uh, my car is down the street, so I'll just come combine. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. 
There you go. That's for that. That's for that. And I'll, I'll get my car. Okay, very good. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. Oh. Somebody was just looking at it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I've been embarrassed. <laughs> That's all right. There you go. Thanks, sir. I appreciate uh, your help. Oh, you no, no. Thank you very much. Uh, you have a nice week. You too. Good. Thank you. Bye now. Good morning. Good morning. How much are you asking for the uh, box of cards? Hello. Would you take like 15 for these two? Um, sure. Okay, I appreciate it. Hey, on these DVDs, we do. Uh, you say you need ones? Uh, definitely. I can help you with that. Right there. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Good. All right. <laughs> How much asking for the uh, the cards? Um, these are like ten dollars a box, and then this is like ten dollars for both. Because okay. this one's missing a few. All right, that's packs. funny. Gave one to grandkids. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take ten for the Batman cards? I have a ton on, of these too. Would you take ten for the Batman yes. cards? And for all the boxes? Yes. Sold. Okay. Would you take 30 for all? Hold that for me. Sure. Oh, I appreciate it. Hold that for me and we can take more. Okay. okay. I'll just keep looking. Alright. Can I be on your video? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you gave me that shirt. It's a great shirt. <laughs> Is that an original or is that, is that an original or is it a repop? No, it's a repop. It's a repop. Gosh. Yeah. Nice to see you. What did we say? Nice to see you too. We're a big fan of you. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice What's your brother's name? David. David, okay. David. I appreciate, yeah. appreciate you guys watching. I know. It's cool, man. <laughs> I saw you. I was like, cool. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks, man. You too. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Good morning.
I'll just take this. I got two on this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank Is you? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Day. You too. Thank you. A dollar, all the shares, a dollar. All the shares. For a whole box, a dollar. Pack the whole box for five bucks. It's got cables, it's got so much stuff in it, you know, from... Yeah, I'll put it in the car for you. Oh, we even have a little wagon for a dollar. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go looking around. Seven. Sir, how much are your shirts? Uh, $5 each. Okay. Like Ten for the shirts. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. That's a good deal. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Are you a Corvette guy? No, I just like the design. Oh, alright. <laughs> oh, I've never been in this community. It's like, all the roads are narrow, so all these cars are basically like, crunched up together. So, it's hard to get around. So, that's probably why this community doesn't run garage sales very often. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, look at this right here. It's, very, it's one area is congested. That was trying to get in and out this place. So it kind of sucks in and out here. Yeah, that truck's trying to go that way. He's never gonna yeah, yes, his house is right over there. Oh, <laughs> he's like, we're all trying to get in. I know, we're all trying to get in. I know, that's the only thing bad. Sometimes these streets are a little tight. How much for the jacket? That's a hundred. Hundred? Yes. Yikes. Isn't that a hot jacket? Yeah, that's pretty if sweet. If it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Right? So someone was stressed out there that this chick 
that's funny. It was probably the ass. Yeah, yeah, that, that. Yeah, that's so funny. I love that. How much are you asking for the shirts? Um, Sherry, the shirts are how much? Yeah. A dollar. I pay you or pay her? Uh, I'll take it. All right. You got two shirts? Yes. I'd like the hangers. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'd put out more, but I'd <laughs> out the hangers. Okay. Yeah, they were probably worn like once or twice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, see, that one still has the dry clean. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> So today was a really good day for garage selling for your boy. I actually hit uh, four community garage sales today, and it was a lot. I went to maybe 25, maybe 30 garage sales. Um, but like most community garage sales, it can be hit or miss at times. So there was a lot of misses, but the ones that I hit were really, really good. Um, the great thing about these community garage sales, they're all, the four communities that I went to were all in this radius of like, I would say five miles of each other. Um, they're like little neighbor, they're like neighborhoods that usually, that are gated communities and they open their gates up twice a year for these community garage sales. And as you saw in one of them, the streets were really, really narrow. It's hard to navigate through it. So, you know, it was tough at times to, to get around, but overall, I'm super happy with what I got. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I that I purchased from these garage sales. And overall, I'm very, very happy with everything that I, that I got. And, you know, I really didn't spend that much. You know, hitting all the garage sales, I really did not spend that much. So let's get into to the haul and show you exactly what I got. All right, first thing off the bat are these two tubs. These are We System and PS2, let me see if there is, the Wii on the bottom, the PS2 on the bottom. Um, both of them had, was complete with the, uh, with all the cords. Here's the PS2, I think, I think it's the PS2 Slim, I think. I believe it is the PS2 Slim. And this one came with one, two, let's see, let me count here. 10 games, there's 10 games here. So pretty, pretty awesome. And let me put this down here for a minute. The Wii system, let me, let me see what they got here, has looks like all the accessories there. I think, let me see here, yep. All the accessories are in there as well, including the Wii. And this one came with Let's see here, one, five, ten games, including some good ones. Here's Wii Sport, that's a good title. They got Super Mario Kart, that's a good title. So, uh, yeah, and here's one. Here's Pokemon Battle Revolution, another pretty decent title. Anyways, I got both of these bins for $45. Um, actually, it was... He had it for thick 35 and well, 30 and 35 and 25. I think it was 30 and 20. I'm not sure. Anyways, I uh, it was 55 total. And so I asked him, would he take 45 for it? And he took it. So very, very happy. As you guys know who've watched the vlog, I'm not a big buyer of video game. I just, I don't know. I know they sell well and I know there's a lot of value in some of them, but I just. You know, when you, sell them when you buy them individually, they seem to over be overpriced at garage sales. But this is a different case. These, uh, this is tremendous value right here for $45. You know, two systems and about 20 games for $45. You cannot beat that. That's just an excellent, excellent buy. And that I will do all day long with video games. So, and one other thing, when I sell the video games, I have some, I have some tubs. <laughs> All right, a couple of really good clothing items that I got. I got two uh, Charles Tyrewit uh, dress shirts. This is a pretty good brand. So I think it's a European brand. 
there's there's a tag charles tyrewit slim fits this one is a charles tyrewit non-iron slim fit i got each of these for a dollar and looks like one of them is still has the tags that came out of the cleaners um for a dollar you cannot resist you cannot stop you cannot not pick this up um probably gonna sell these for like 20 bucks or i may just lock these up i think they're both the same size so may lock these up but individually they're 20 bucks now this was a really cool find i paid five bucks each for these these are a pair of I guess this uh, garage saw, the guy was a big Corvette. He was a big Corvette enthusiast. So he had all these like Corvette car related items as a garage sale. And a little bit overpriced, so I didn't kind of skip through that. But he did have these pair of like these Hawaiian shirts, the Corvettes on the front. He had one, he had two, perfect condition. Now the brand is actually one of those really sought after brands. It's Paradise Found made in hawaii made a rayon rayon so this is very this is vintage um those of you guys who don't know paradise found is the brand i don't know if the older viewers may know this but you know the tv show of magnum pi the the tom Selleck version he used to wear these um this red sh um shirt with parrots on it that was made by the company paradise found and that's how these became very very popular but look at these shirts just amazing condition. If they were my size, I probably would have kept them, but unfortunately they're large, I think. Yeah, they're large. Anyways, five bucks for each. And if you get the really crazy Hawaiian shirts in a good brand like this, they'll go for pretty good money. So I'm looking to probably get probably get 30 to 50 bucks for each. All right, at this one garage set, actually two separate garage sales, actually back-to-back -back garage sales. Um, I found these unused pack of like baseball cards football cards hockey cards um five of the five of the six are sealed i don't know if you see it there and they're from like 1990 91 i think 90 i think 93 is in here look at that um i paid total of uh 45 for for all of them at two separate garage sales and some of these aren't worth as much as i thought i didn't do any research at the garage sale but, you know, I bought it because it was sealed. Um, the best of the lot are probably this one here. The NBA Hoops 1990-91. NBA Hoops. And probably these two right here. Oh, then this one goes for about 30. This is 30. And the other ones are actually these two right here. The Pinnacle... NFL football from 1991. These go for about 30 each. So from those three, I get 90. And the other ones, like this Fleer one and this this one right here, the hockey one, does not worth. Probably goes for like 15, 20 bucks. So you know, I paid 45 bucks. If I sell them all, I should be able to make like 120 bucks. So overall, it's a good deal to uh, buy all that. So. Very, very happy. I always try to find some sealed base football cards. I know I know right now, like sporting cards, like baseball cards or basketball cards are getting back in popularity. So scoring this at this time is uh, pretty, pretty decent in my opinion. All right, a couple of small items that I picked up, you know, a lot of stuff there new in the box. I always try to pick up um, if it's cheap enough. And this is one of them. This is a, uh, this is like a wine um stopper it's from the green bay packers it's uh new in the package and that's the only reason why i bought this um you know green bay packers is a very very popular football team so i know this will sell pretty quick and i know somebody some man cave out there maybe in wisconsin will buy this so two bucks can't beat that um i also like to pick up these old garments these uh, gps i know a lot of people have gps on their phone but there's still a portion of the market that still wants to go old school so i got this uh, garmin i paid five bucks for this everything seems to be there and uh yeah i've actually i i've sold garments all the time even use so there it is right there the garmin there has all the instructions so this is probably 20 bucks right here so yeah you know old technology i always say if you get it cheap enough um there's still a market of people that still want this kind of stuff. They're not willing to change and go with the <laughs> the current technology. So they are 
always looking for stuff like this. All right, guys, the final thing I'm going to show you is probably um, the best find of the day. One of the biggest home runs I've hit in a long, long time. Um, it's a Funko. It's called the Five Nights at Freddy Sister Location uh, Funko. I think it's made by Funko. Anyways, this is a part. You have to collect four of these to make a figure here. Inard, I think it's Inard. Um, I When I was at the garage side, I really did not know much about it. But I just had this feeling it was worth something because of the name Funko. So I know some of these Funkos go for really decent money. So I did a quick scan on my phone and found that this particular model, this particular figure, is going for like over 120 130 I think one I saw one sold for $240. <laughs> and this is like you can see it's brand new in the package. No really any scratches on it, except this uh their price tag sticker. But well, hopefully I'll be very, very careful when I peel this off. But it looks like it's not been open, as you can see. So this is probably one of the best finds I've had in a really long time. And the best thing about it, this is probably gonna sell pretty quick because when I did the research on it. I saw there was only a handful of uh, of these up brand new, and a lot of them has sold. Now, when you see more, when you look at the eBay sold, when you see more sold than listed, you know you have a hot item. So this is probably to go up as soon as I can. Um, I don't know if I'll get two hundred dollars, but I just noticed there's like a, a like a small like dent right here, so that might devalue the um, the pop just a little bit. But I will disclose in the listing and take. A lot of pictures so the buyer will see that there's a little bit of distress on the thing but the actual figure itself never even been touched all right guys that is going to be it for this video very happy with what i got i think i spent a total of uh i'm thinking maybe close to a hundred dollars today and you know a lot of that funko pop alone should get all my money back so very very happy um, you know, we're at the time of the year in Vegas where there's a lot of community garage sales. A lot of them are doing it now because they couldn't do it because early in the year because of the, the pandemic. So there's a lot of stuff out there and it's just the race to get to the items first. Um, a lot of the items that you, I just show, I showed you, I got them at the beginning of the, the day. Cause you know, when I went, as I went on later in the day, there wasn't much stuff I think was picked over. Um, but still. I'm very, very happy with what I got. And um, I should, it should yield some really decent return, a really decent return for everything that you saw. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, please give it, hit that, that, that like button. If you wanna see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button, hit that alert uh, bell so you know when the new videos are coming out. And if you want to spread the word of your, your boy Ronnie Bezel, please share it with your friends so we can grow this Ronnie Bezel community of just a normal guy going garage sailing. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.